Hello Aquarius. This is Elijah Keating from WisdomSeekers.net. Go check us out, please. And it's for the energy of for December 2018th. And the year is coming to a close. Can you believe that? So the first card I pulled is Seek the Truth. And Seek the Truth is... Uh, well, look at her. She's ripping apart the veil. So we're, she's seeking in places that other people have never looked. Or maybe they have, but it is not a common belief or common truth yet. It will be shortly, obviously, especially with Aquarius that their mind to it. And I am going to shuffle this because I forgot. And you need to shuffle it or else you get wrong reading. And knock out some energy. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to split it. Split. And shall we move forward? There we go. So I'm doing the Celtic Cross because it's easier this format. So the first card I pulled is the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords is an extremely difficult card, especially as a base card. But I'm betting that it means things are moving out. And Aquarius, I bet a lot of you are coming out of a dark night of the soul energy. Because this is a card of depression. It's a card of frust deep frustration. It's a card of deep sorrow. And when you have a deep dark night of the soul, which is not truly a truth, it's a dark night of the ego. But when you have this, it truly is a life-changing event because you're losing so much of what you thought was reality. Which is sad, but it's also a fast track on what covers you. And that is the uh, a judgment. In my deck, you can see it's a Pied Piper pulling the people out of darkness into the light. So you are being pulled into the knowledge, the spiritual knowledge of that which is truth rather than belief. It's a common knowledge is often a belief and not truth. So you're being pulled into the truth. And most of us go kicking and screaming by our toenails. Well, what's behind us? Courage. You have a great deal of courage, Aquarius. And courage is, is something that uh, we need on this spiritual journey. This is Two of Swords. Because the spiritual journey is like Occam's razor. And the best answer is usually the simplest answer. But it is also the razor part of it that makes it difficult. It's so easy to fall off. So you have a lot of courage to follow and grow in your footsteps. And you have, you've you been doing it in a great deal of balance, even though you have been in a place of emotional stress and dis, discon, discontinu, discontinuity in your lifestyle and your energy. But you also have a deep faith that you're going to make it. You've also, unfortunately, this is a five of seven of swords, had some people being dishonest with you, tried to break things or break, break it for you. You lost a job because somebody lied or uh, some, somebody, somebody did something and it was nefarious, it was not honest. And you got stuck with it, even though you knew it was happening. It's in the past. What's coming in your future? The Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles is by far the best best outcome for from going from Seven of Swords or, or somebody being nasty and nefarious. Because you are being vindicated, you people can see that you've put in the effort, you know what you're doing. This is acknowledgement that you are doing well. It's also a card of money. I like cards of money. I would, I would wish that we didn't have to live in a world that required money, but we do. So if you, if you got it, 
That's best. And this is judgment. And I've always used the judgment card as my light worker card. So Aquarius, probably with your watching my video, you're definitely a light worker. And light workers have a tendency to cut away the dross, lighten up the load so their heart becomes lighter and lighter because a light heart is a generally a spiritual heart. It also means your intuition or your third eye or your power centers are opening up and you're becoming a great healer, a great telepath. You're becoming good at what you what is is there in front of you and is part of your life. Part of everybody's life that you're coming you're, you're becoming really good at it. And so you are in for a change, and this is a Don Quixote change, a change that you don't think through, but you protect it all the same. So you're just going to go out and go, yeah, I'm going to do this, and not think necessarily of all the ramification. But as I said, you're protected, so go ahead and do it. Have fun. Because you also have the skills. You're a very skillful human being. The skills to the Seven of Wands. The skills to protect that which is yours, to deal with life's uncertainties quickly and smart and satisfactorily. You have everything required. And if I forgot, this is the Knight of Swords. So things are coming along. There is a great deal of, well, it looks like a few brouhaha's in your life. But that can be verbal ones, that can be internal mental ones but things are shifting and changing and you are not going to stand by the sidelines and allow other people to choose for you anymore you are going to stand in your power and you're going to say hey this is me and that's good it is always good maybe do it a little more gently than 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 you could because when you're powerful, you do not have to push and prove that you are powerful. You simply are. So a simple yes or a simple no without explanation is probably enough. And where is it going to take you? It's going to take you to this Nine of Cups. And this is Cloud Nine. This is a cloud card of joy and happiness. This is also the Wish card. And nobody again in December has got the wish card so far. So make a wish, make it joyful, make it fun. And this is going to be one very spiritual December for everybody. So you are seeking the truth and you're actually doing a really good job of finding the truth, even though you have to deal with nefarious dealings. But you are powerful and you have a great deal of courage so what you get is a lot of movement a lot of shifting and as you see this card says movement or move but it's also the heart opening the heart is opening and moving and shifting and to go anywhere to do anything you want the heart to be as open as possible and with an open heart anything is possible does not mean you have to go over and say yes i believe you you you're perfectly fine you're not nefarious when he is doesn't mean you're dumb just means you're dealing with it from an open heart and you can see his side or her side but you still do it from a place of judgment common sense judgment doesn't have to be because you are open-hearted that you bend over and take it. That is not spiritual. Spirituality is standing in your power saying yes or no, but it is not bending over for anybody. Namaste.